my name is Case. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. Basically, what I'm going to be talking about with you guys is DLC camos that Treyarch should implement in the game. So, let's get straight into it. Now, first I would like to say this video wouldn't be possible at all if it wasn't for my buddy Mac Max. His link to his channel would be down in the description. Make sure you go subscribe to him, guys. He's got about 27,000 subs, I believe, and his channel's great. Subscribe to him. He is the one who made all of these camos in Photoshop, making it possible for me to make this video I did ask him for permission as well so don't worry about that but yeah make sure you go subscribe to him as well so first up I have five camos I want to talk to you guys about the first one on your screen is Benjamin's camo basically in Black Ops 2 there was a Benjamin's camo which had money on it and this looks exactly like it and if they added this to Call of Duty Black Ops 3 but that would be actually pretty pretty cool now as you guys know Black Ops 3 they actually haven't added any DLC camo in the game I don't know why, but this camo would be an awesome addition to it because I, I've always seen a ton of players use this camo in Black Ops 2. So if they added it to Black Ops 3, they would probably make a ton of money off of this money camo. So that would be very, very cool. The next camo I want to talk to you guys about is a tie-dye camo. It's more like a spectrum rainbow camo, which is really, really cool because at the barrel, of like, like the front of the gun, it's got the spiral effect and then it's got all of the colors on it. That looks absolutely incredibly awesome. So if they added that to Black Ops 3, that'd be really cool. It's like a really bright camo, so if you want to be stealthy, this wouldn't be the camo for you. But for the people that don't really care, this is definitely the camo that you guys want to rock. And of course, it'll look different on different guns as well, like the VMP and such. This is the Cam 44, which shows all parts of the weapon. But I think that looks incredible. So let's move on to the next camo. The next camo we have on screen is a, basically a camo with all the flags all around the world. And I think this is a very cool camo because I think they had a camo like this in Call of Duty Ghosts. I'm not exactly sure, but I remember you can get a calling card in Black Ops 2 that had, you know, all the countries and stuff. I think that's very cool to show, like, the world and all of the flags on one particular gun. And, you know, mix around, you've got the, the UK flag, all of them. And that's really, really cool. So this camo, it's just awesome because you got, like, the Canadian flag, everything. I don't know all the flags by heart, so I'm just looking at what I see. But I think this would be a cool addition to Black Ops 3 if they actually added all the flags. And if they have a matching calling card with it, that'd be really, really cool. Moving on to the next camo, we have a zebra camo. If you guys remember from Call of Duty Black Ops 2, there was a party rock camo that had like purple and white. And this is kind of like it, but literally zebra stripes. And I think this is a really cool camo because it's not so like bright, you know. It's just black and white stripes on the gun, which makes it simplistic, not too, you know, everywhere not too colorful if you're that more of a like you want to go with these colors for sure this would be the camo for you i really do like this one and i think this would be a great addition to call of Duty black ops 3. last but not least camo we have this space camo like a nebula camo but not so purple you have a mixture of blue red pinks whites all different colors in this gun and you actually have a darker at the end of the gun i think this is an awesome camo because you know in Ghost, the Spectrum camo was a very, very, like, camo that you didn't get. No one got. This is kind of like it, but more of a space theme. It's got stars on it and all sorts and stuff like that. And I really do like this camo. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, leave a thumbs up down below. I really do appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button as well if you want to see more content from me. Shout out to Mac Max. Thank you for letting me use uh, your camo paint jobs, whatever, in Photoshop and stuff. He made these himself in Photoshop. Thank you so much. I'd appreciate it. Let's say for 45 likes. If you're on this part of the video, down in the comment section, put hashtag DLC so I know you guys are. And yeah, I hope you guys have yourselves a great day. You've been the Case Crew. Let me know which is your favorite camo out of all of these. You've been the Case Crew. I've been Case. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.